Welcome everyone to the 2023 Guard Games, brought to you by FMTV. I'm your host, Adam Caldwell, and I'm joined by my esteemed colleague, Anna Thorson. It's a beautiful day here at the Flyer Mount Community Activity Center. There's lots of anticipation as these athletes prepare to take on the 50-yard freestyle. Yeah, our lifeguards here at the CAC have been training day in and day out for this event, and we're excited to see who comes out on top. Here are our six contestants for this Guard Games event, all of which work here at the CAC. Today, they're competing for the gold medal. Here's how everything works. There will be two initial heats with three swimmers each, followed by a final heat. First place winners of the first two heats automatically advance, and then the other two fastest swimmers will also get a chance to fight for gold in the final heat. Having that fourth swimmer in the finals really provides that underdog element to these games, and I'm excited to see if we'll see an upset today. We talked with some of our competitors earlier today, and they seem locked in and ready to give it their all. Yeah, in the first heat, we have Eric Belcher, Chloe Archer, and Sophie Gangwer facing off. Here's Eric coming out of the locker room now. He's the aquatics coordinator here at the CAC and a graduate of the University of North Texas. He has a passion for cooking, mixology, and board games. But Adam, he told me earlier he's not looking to get cooked in this event. I hope he doesn't. He said if he wins this event, dinner is on him. Following him is head lifeguard Chloe Archer. She's the favorite to win today because of her experience swimming in high school, and she will graduate from the University of North Texas this May. She began working here at the CAC in 2017, and while working out is one of her many hobbies, she can't go a day without eating candy. Yep, I understand that. All right, and here comes lifeguard Sophie Gangwer getting in some last minute stretches while she walks out of the locker room. Sophie is our youngest competitor in this heat. She graduated from Fire Mound High School last December. And this is kind of a full circle moment for Sophie because her biggest inspiration is the man two lanes down from her, Eric Belcher. All right, and our swimmers have entered the pool. You know, it must be weighing on your nerves knowing that you're about to compete against your coworkers, your friends, people you see for 40 hours every week, and just know that you're gonna have bragging rights for the rest of the week, even the year maybe. Yeah, it might make you want that gold medal just a little bit more. All right, the crowd is quieting down in anticipation for the first heat. Take your All right, and our swimmers are off. You see, the secret is to remain underwater as long as possible on your start, so that way you don't have to fight the surface tension. Here they are approaching the halfway point with their flip turn. It's going to be crucial in gaining a lead here in the second half of this race. My God, Chloe Archer has a commanding lead. I honestly didn't think that I would see somebody this fast today, but wow. Yeah, and Chloe here, her mechanics look beautiful, and it's going to earn her first place in this first heat. Coming up next is Eric. Hopefully he has that time that will push him forward to the finals. Yep, and then Sophia coming in third. Man, how exciting with Chloe just getting the early lead and keeping it all the way through. A sub 30 time is actually kind of crazy. 27-16 is not what I was expecting to see today. Yeah, if I was a swimmer in the locker room about to go on the second heat and I saw that, I would be a little bit nervous about my chances. And these are the official times for Heat 1. Chloe Archer at 27.16 seconds, Eric Belcher at 32.04, and Sophia Gangwer at 37.06 seconds. All right, and it's time for Heat 2. Our first swimmer, head lifeguard Derek Buccelli, is making his way down to lane one as we speed. He has that extra strength you really need as a swimmer because he's a certified firefighter and EMT. At a press conference earlier this week, Derek said that he can't go a day without listening to music. So I'm interested to know what his pump up song was in the locker room before this. And here comes aquatic supervisor, Kristen Hinton. She has an undergrad degree from Texas Lutheran and a master's degree from Texas State University. She's been a lifeguard since she was 21 and I think she might be the one to be in this heat. She's a runner, a crossfitter, and really has a passion for fitness. Last but not least, here's lifeguard Nathan Powell. Nathan is a man on the move, and he told us that he can't go a day without his car, so hopefully he brings that drive to the competition. Nathan is actually homeschooled, but he dreams of attending Kansas State. While he's in the pool today, he prefers to be in the paint, as basketball is one of his many hobbies. And just a reminder, the winners automatically advance, and the next two fastest swimmers will also qualify for the final. So it's really not all about first place. If you can get a solid time, you're going to have a chance to compete for gold. Right, and that time to beat is 32.04, which will guarantee you a spot in the finals. And I know that you said that Kristen is a one to beat, but I have my eyes on Buccelli. Interesting. Do you want to put some money on it? No, but I'll wager an Eric Belcher home-cooked meal. Deal. 
deal. Well, they're off, and out the gate, this one's looking like it's going to come down to the wire. Yeah, these swimmers are really evenly matched, but are they fast enough to beat Chloe's time? It's going to come down to this flip turn right here. Oh, wow, beautiful execution from Buccelli. Buccelli is keeping a good pace, but this race for second place is close. Yeah, it is what it's all coming down to. Who is it going to be, Kristen or Nathan? They are neck and neck. It's all about who reaches out here at the last minute. And it's Kristen by just a hair. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Buccelli takes home the victory. I take home a home-cooked meal. And <laughs> Kristen advances to the final. And look at that sportsmanship there. Buccelli congratulating his competitors and obviously excited to be heading into the finals. If you're interested in participating in the guard games, be sure to visit www.flower-mound.com forward slash jobs. From there, you can fill out an application to join this amazing team of lifeguards here at the CAC. And it looks like the official times for Heat 2 has come in. Derek Buccelli swam a 28.24, Kristen swam a 30.2, and Nathan at 31.03. So it looks like this whole entire Heat is going to qualify for the final, and Derek swimming sub-30 might put him in competition with Chloe Archer to take home the gold in this final Heat. Here they are. No moment is too big for these finalists. Who will go home with that gold medal and title of fastest swimmer at the CAC? Well, Anna, if we're basing it off of the previous heats, Chloe is a clear favorite to take home gold. Buccelli does pose a threat to Archer as he swam sub-30 in his heat, but as good as that lap was, he will need a stronger performance if he thinks he can win. Yeah, all eyes will be on lane two and three, but let's not count out Kristen and Nathan just yet. And the crowd here is loving it, by the way, as these swimmers prepare to enter the water. Lane one, Hinton. Lane two, Archer, lane three, Buccelli, and lane four, Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, do you feel it? The moment we've all been waiting for. Take your fire. Here we go. The final heat is off. And after the initial kickoff, this is still a pretty tight race. As predicted, though, we're seeing Chloe pull away from the pack pretty early on. Right. As we approach that turn, it looks like this is Chloe's goal. Buccelli is going to need a really strong push to keep up, and it's not looking like it's enough. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, take it all in. Chloe Archer showing us some real speed. Real speed. Neck and neck with her personal best. Will she beat it? She comes close. 27-17, but she takes home the goal. Buccelli in at second, Kristen in at third, and Powell in at first. Four. What a performance from Chloe Archer. Not only dominant in this final heat, but just dominant in the event overall. Yeah, and we just saw a little frustration there from Kristen Hinton, the bronze medalist in this event. But Chloe, real proud of herself, high-fiving her competitors, a big smile there on her face. Right, and there's a reason why she's the head lifeguard. That is somebody that I would want to save my life in a hurry. Now, as we go to the instant replay, let's take a look at this one more time. Chloe wins in all three phases of the race. You want to remain underwater for as long as possible on your starts. Chloe is patient with her breach and that gives her the upper hand at the start of the race. Once we get to the turn, you can see how much power she generates off the wall to extend her lead mid-race. And then on the home stretch, she just maintains her pace with gold in sight. It's truly a spectacle to behold as she just slices through the water. And these are the official times from the final heat. Chloe Archer coming in at 27.17 seconds. That is just one one hundredth of a second behind her personal best. She's followed by Derek Buccelli at 30.06 seconds, Kristen Hinton at 31.08, and Nathan Powell at 32.16 seconds. And uh, it was a great showing from all of our competitors today. Yeah, really fierce competition out there. And let's get to the medal ceremony. Kristen Hinton, who is really eager to accept that bronze medal, is already on the podium. She's joined moments later by Derek Buccelli, who has taken home the silver medal. And finally, here comes today's winner. Chloe Archer, already draped in the American flag, proudly taking that top spot on the podium. Yeah, it's good for her. She's earned it. And today, our contestants will be receiving their medals from CAC manager and their boss, David Powell. And just as a reminder, if you want to join this team of impressive lifeguards, visit www.flower-mound.com slash jobs. And once you're there, you'll be able to learn what it takes to be a Flower Mound lifeguard and submit an application. 
And there she is, boasting the gold. Congrats to our winner. I'd also like to take this time to thank all of the competitors who volunteered to compete in the guard games, along with our production crew for putting together this live event. Wow, what a great first event. A decided win for Chloe Archer, who is going home with the gold. Yeah, stay tuned for more guard games. The next time you see these competitors, they'll be facing off in the sink and swim or cannonball events. Can't wait.